All right, so you want to start a YouTube channel, and uh, you got good video, don't got very good audio, and your camera doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack or a USB port for you to stick an auxiliary mic into it. Well, I have a solution, or uh, what I would use as a backup setup if uh, my Canon Vixia that I use for most of my videos ever decided it wanted to die. So, let's get on with it. All right, now one thing uh, that you can use in your life every day is having backups to backups, like backup solutions to everything. Now the camera that I originally had that I made a lot of videos on my channel with, and by a lot I mean a few, but uh, is this uh, Sony Handycam. Now this is an old camera, it films in standard definition. Um, excellent audio, not the greatest video. However, uh, I have this Vivitar 786 HD, which is like a GoPro knockoff that takes pretty good video, but I think the microphone and it's screwed up because it only records in on the right channel of audio for some weird reason and it's really quiet. But uh, I would use these two in conjunction, which I'm going to show you um, in this video, which is my idea of how to get good audio with uh, you know, for a camera that has a poor audio. So you get the best of both worlds. You get good audio, good video. Now, if both of these failed after this one failed, I'd probably turn around and uh, run my 783 HD, which doesn't have the world's greatest audio or video, but fuck it, HD. Anyhow, let's get to the setup with uh, running these two. Okay, so uh, you notice I clapped right there, and that was a reason for doing that, and that was to uh, sync up the audio forms in here, which I'll show you actually on my computer here in a minute. Now, uh, I'm going to switch back and forth between the audio on these two cameras to show you what I'm talking about is about the this one having a poor mic and then the one up here having an excellent microphone on it and the pictures and vice versa. Now, I do understand that when I'm doing this, uh, not everybody has a second old handy cam laying around, but you could always substitute that for like a smartphone, uh, some recording device. Like I think you could buy digital recorders now for like 20 bucks that are halfway decent or some sort of like lapel mic or whatnot that you might be able to drag a cord clear across your floor to your laptop or set it behind you or something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, when it comes to getting the audio off of the camera above and to the camera below, it's pretty actually, it's actually pretty simple to do in the video editor. Now the video editor that I'm using is uh, Caden Live. Um, which is now available on Windows. I don't know how it works on Windows. If you know how it works on Windows, let me know. It's free. It seems to work pretty good because I'm using Ubuntu Studio and I had to down I actually had to physically tell the computer to download the latest version of it, but that's a story for another day. Now, uh, let's get on to uh, syncing up the audio on these. And as I'm saying, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a second camera or something. It has to be something that can record your voice. I mean, hell, it could be an old cassette recorder. Now, I'm not exactly sure you get the audio off of that, but Pretty sure you can just plug that into the mic port and it would work with a two-way 3.5 millimeter jack. But okay, let's uh, switch to uh, the desktop and I'll show you why uh, how you sync up the audio. Okay, when you get it into your video editor, however, you got to get it into your timeline over here. Uh, you got to get both the videos over here, which this one is the one, which this one right here is the one that I recorded with uh, with my Canon Vixia, which is kind of strange because I don't have it on me right now. But uh, as you can see on this one, the audio wavelengths that are recorded on this camera are pretty piss poor and non-existent. So uh, sometimes you got to go over here and you got to zoom in a little bit. Uh, that didn't help me one goddamn bit. I unhighlight the fucking thing. But uh, I can kind of see right here where there's a peak. Uh, let's move it over here. Uh, no, that doesn't look like it matches because I can see that there's a little bit of shit going on right here. And that's where I clapped in the clip. So uh, let's uh, figure this out, shall we? Okay, so that's not it. Well, here's here's another little peak. Wait, 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 wait. I can see that there's there's shit going on right here, which was recorded on the Sony. And yes, I'm putting this one over this, so it shows that over over the other. Um, I'm gonna flip over the images or the video part of it pretty quickly. But I can see there's a little peak right there. So what happens if I sync these two up? 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 see. Right here, I'm gonna hit play. Okay, so uh, you notice like. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good to me. Um, that's kind of how you sync them up. And a lot of the times it's easier. Sometimes if you zoom it in a little bit more, a little bit less, sometimes it shows up better. But as I said, that uh, Divitar camera, the microphone, and it's a piece of crap. So uh, you always got to contend with stuff like that. And then this video right here isn't necessarily like, as I said, exactly what you need. I mean, you could always turn around and use like a, some sort of digital recorder, a smartphone, I mean, some MP3 players even have uh, the ability to uh, record the audio. And so there's many different ideas and things that you can have for uh, doing this kind of stuff. But this is what I got going right now. All right, another thing I wanted to point out is uh, that Sony Handycam is like the only uh, recording device I have that actually records stereo audio, which is something. But... Uh, yeah, no, this video was, I just made this video to uh, try and help out uh, somebody that was in the small YouTubers group in, uh, on Facebook because, uh, well, I have the ability to show that kind of stuff. I might as well help somebody out because uh, I'm not bad drivers in Napa Valley. Anyhow, thank you for watching. thing that you'll never see me travel without and it's without a set of jumper cables if you have them you, you never need them it's the craziest fucking thing toe strap always need a toe strap always need a toe strap cigarettes optional <laughs>